I think the biggest challenge we're facing is the is the implementation of a program, a procurement program that looks to opening up the market to the private sector and the disjuncture that exists between ourselves and national government in respect of the way in which this should be done. So it's, it's, it's the subject of a much publicized court case that we actually went to court and during the last year, approached the High Court in, Gaut, in the North Gauteng High Court to ask for a declarative order that would allow the city to go and test the market and to see if we could procure power up to at least 300 megawatts initially, but hopefully expanding on that to just build that kind of resilience to, to, to load shedding, but also to create an open and fair and competitive marketplace for, for electricity supply. We met, we met a lot of resistance uh, in that process and that forced us to go to court. The outcome of the court case was of course, just to push us back to the, to the table in terms of continuing with the discussions. I, I must say that we are now starting to talk more and more to the department officials, but I think the true test will come once we are ready to submit the feasibility study and when we request a section 34 determination in terms of the Electricity Regulation Act. So that, that is going to be the true test. I mean, now that they've gazetted the regulations governing the procurement of power, particularly by local governments, it's going to be an important test for the entire country to see how quickly does the minister respond and what is the nature of that response in turn. So that's probably our biggest holdup. I mean, we are ready to go to market right now. We can literally at a push of a button, push out uh, an RFP to the market and say, right, we're open, we're ready for business. Please submit your proposal so that we can start looking at procuring power from that. Another challenge that we have is of course, the, the building up of an integrated resource plan at city level. Currently, as you well know, the IRP is built up at national level. It's then released effectively for comment and it's out there. What you should have is an IRP that is built from the ground up. So that looks at the needs of, of cities and towns and that is then aggregated up and then the gaps effectively are filled by an ESCOM uh, in, a national, in a national context. That's really the way in which an IRP should be undertaken in the country. So in our case, what we're advocating for and actually what we are proceeding with is the development of a city level IRP. That's, how, that's what we're terming it, city level IRP. And that city level IRP is going to be produced by the CSRR. So they're a credible independent body, uh, no commercial ties. So it's a very credible piece of, of work that will be done by the CSRR. And what that will be used for is also to inform us in terms of the types of technologies that we're after in terms of our own energy mix and the concomitant pricing signals that should go with that uh, energy choice. So this is really the kind of signals that we hope to push out to the marketplace just to guide them as well. And we already, and we will talk in, in more detail about some of these projects, but we are actually ready to go to market with the first phase, which is for embedded generation projects under 10 megawatts that are connected directly to our grid. And that we're ready to push the button on in the course of the next month or so.